you must be Doug. I'm so sorry for your loss. The visitation will be starting in about 30 minutes, so I'll be around. If there's anything you need, please let me know. Sure. Looking good, Wilt. Be honest, I don't think I've ever seen you look better. You never did like flowers much. Oh, I brought you something. life. There were so many things I wanted to tell you before you died. Like what? Hey, show some respect. Calm down. I wanted to hear what you had to say. What if somebody walks in here? I don't know. I'll, I'll play dead or something. <sighs> Doug, <sighs> what do we do when we're scared? I, I'm not supposed to be talking what to you. What do you do when you're scared? Lie down. Lie down and talk it through. Things are always better when you talk it through. All right. Lay down and let's talk. Good. Well. Yeah, Doug. Are you really dead? I think so. What's it? What's it like? It's all right, I guess. Did you meet God? N not yet, but we made an appointment. How much did you spend on this dang casket anyway? Careful, it's a rental. Oh, I'm sorry. I... Am I wearing a suit? Sorry about that. Doug, why did you let them put me in a suit? I wouldn't have, but... Doug? I want to ask you a question, and I want you to be completely honest with me. All right. Am I wearing makeup? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Doug, you can't let my ex-wife see me like this. She's planning to come. And my kids, Doug. You can't let my boys see their father in a suit. Uh, well, what am I supposed to do? I, I, I don't know. Uh, uh, tear my sleeves off and, and show off my tattoos or, or something. Uh, uh, tell them I'm not their father. Tell him I'm one of them doppelgangers. Doug? Yeah? How did it happen? I don't know, Wilt. I've always wondered how to get such nice clothes on corpses. I'm not talking about the suit, Doug. How'd I die? Oh, uh, you were trampled by mooses. I think you mean meese. I think it's Moses. Oh. Mom always said we needed to take care of each other. Now it feels like you're the one taking care of me. I don't feel like I've done that much for you. How am I going to make it?
You know, I was scared out of my wits when Dad died. You were? Of course I was. Dad did everything for us. We were broke. I never knew him that well. He was a good man. The grief never really leaves you. You get up in the morning and you do the first thing your hands find fit to do. And then you do it again the next day. And the next and the weeks and the months and the years pass. You find out you're stronger than you thought. But you don't do it for yourself. You do it for those you lost and for those you love. Take care of my kids, Doug. Will you? I will. Uh, don't let my ex-wife spoil them too much. Give them too much candy. Teach them to be men. My will. I'm proud of you, Doug. You're a good kid. If you ever want to come by and visit, just... Oh, about that. What? We're going to cremate you. You what? We're dumping your ashes in the National Moose Reservation. Oh, well, that's a lie. you. Yeah. yeah.